Welcome to Faith Chi. Before we start, a quick smooch with Twiglet. Sometimes they just don't let me get things done. This is a resin chihuahua planter I bought in the sale on a website. I hated the pink, but I thought, why not get it and repaint it? Good dog. I decided to use acrylic paints. To get a better grip on the surface, I lightly sandpapered the whole ornament first. I love the Reeves acrylic paints and I really like their metallic range so I decided to use bronze. I diluted the paint with a little water comes up rather thick in these tubes. Reeves acrylic paints are beautiful to work with. They have a lovely, thick, even coverage consistency. And no, I haven't been paid to say that.
Ta-da! Doesn't that look nice? Anyway, after the first coat, let it dry and then apply second and then leave it overnight. This is Little Lord Oscar Dandelion. These are the paintbrushes. Medium sized one, a thinner one. Now I'm beginning to paint the eyes. I started with a white base. It doesn't have to be too accurate at this stage because you can always clean it up with the black liner later and the original bronze base paint. So don't be too anxious if you're going to try this yourself. Have fun! So after the white base coat has dried, you can then add the black acrylic paint liner. I used Windsor & Newton Artists Acrylic Paints and they have not sponsored me either. It's just a preference. So again, don't be too worried about making a little mess because you can always clean it up later. It was a bit awkward around here because there were some ridges on the surface so it came out a bit bobbly, wobbly. Here I am painting the actual eye with the black pupil. And the white highlight. I'm not going to leave the whole of the eye black, as you shall soon see. I will be painting them a realistic deep brown colour, like my Chihuahua's eyes are. And I will be retouching the black liner when it's dried and adding um, white paint for the highlights of the eyes. See there, you can see the brown here. It looks sort of Egyptian, doesn't it? They're sort of I suppose he's sort of like a, a chihuahua god. Next I'm outlining the mouth and the nose and the nostrils with the same black paint. touching up the eyes as I go. Now I'm using the black acrylic for defining the toes and here you can see I've started on the ears, on the inner ear, with a, a wash of white paint and I've done the nose too 
and the chin. Ah, oh, and speckled the cheeks. Did you see that? Here I draw a heart with pencil and then I fill it in with a black paint. Gloss varnish. I've only applied this to the actual eyes because I wanted them to look a little more lifelike. To give them a bit of a shine. So I added three coats of this. Always wait, always leave enough time for each coat to dry adequately. Oh, and this, at this point, I've drawn on the eyebrows and speckles for the whisker part on the muzzle. Now for the fun, easy part, Copydex glue. This is one of my favourite glues I use. It's non-toxic and it comes off, it's like a rubbery base glue. So I glue where I want to put the glitter and the mica powder. I used a gold mica powder, mica powder and a silvery based glitter. This felt like a boy chihuahua, so I added a simple cream bow around his neck and a little succulent plant. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give it the thumbs up if you did. And why not subscribe? Thank you for watching.